So that's a wrap, my guys. We finally got that new trailer and that sweet, sweet release date. It's feeling good, my guys. All we have to do now is wait. Seven long years is coming to an end. So yeah, there's, there's nothing really to talk about anymore. So yeah, bye. No, 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 this is all I got. <laughs> Wait, what if I told you, wait, 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 don't hear me out, my boys and girls. What if I told you with every single Omoi trailer, plus especially the new one, I know we can predict the ending, maybe even the entire story of this entire game with only the trailers. By the look of your face, you think I'm joking, do you? No, not nah, chief, not this time. I have three. Yes, one, two, three, not four, just three big old theories of what this game is trying to say to the players. So sit back, kick that subscribe button and like button, and let's enter the Omoi Zone after my fire intro after this. This is my first theory out of three, so make sure you guys pay attention. I'm only gonna say it once, you know? All right, think about Omoi's friends. You got the girl, you got the lazy bones, you got the stupid, you got the lovey dovey, and you got the Joe. But we also have Basil. What do you guys think connects them all together? Yeah, it's that they're all dead, but this time not Omoi. And no, I know what you guys are all thinking. Uh, Omoi is dead. He is in purgatory. He's in hell. He's trying to cross over to the afterlife. La 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 di da. No, that would be too easy, my boys. We have to think around the circle, around the square. You, you get what I'm trying to say? No? Pay attention. Okay, I'm gonna look at the trailer real quick. They say things like, remember the good time. These are all of our memories. It's almost like they're trying to tell him, you need to move on from our deaths. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Think about it. You know when Omoi enters the black room and they say, we'll always be there for you, man. And they straight up lie to your face. First, I was shell shocked. I was scared, but it got me thinking, why can't they see the dude? Why can't they enter the black room? That's because they are the dead ones. I am the alive one. You know why Amoy is scared of the water? What if all of his friends drowned? Bruh. Don't ask me how. Maybe they like made a toy boat. They went too far in the river and none of them knew how to swim. And it was only Omoi who knew how to swim. You better start getting those swimming classes, my boys and girls. But this one, I don't think this is it. This is my first theory and I don't like it, but it's, it's one out of the three. My third one is gonna be my major one. So yeah, on to my second theory. Yeah, I know we're moving fast. Buckle up. Only Basil, you know, the dude right there, I'm most likely showing him. Not that dude, this dude. He is the dead one. Why must you think that? Well, why is he the only one in the black world? He could be guiding Omoi to the other side. No, he is Omoi's best friend. And he's trying to get him over his death because he can't live happily, happily, because he keeps thinking about him, you know? Maybe he could have saved him. Maybe they're brothers or something, I don't know. And they are going through the memories of uh, where they used to go, you know, where they're all together with their friends and all that. But that's just a theory, my guys. Nothing is set in stone. That's the amazing thing about theories, you know? Basil is dead. Omoi is trying to not look at the fact, because you know how he says, the thing, the, the one-eyed monster, he said, you can't keep running away. What does that mean, I wonder? Running away from what? The truth? I don't know, but it seems likely maybe Omoi didn't pay his taxes. You gotta pay your taxes, kids. If you don't pay your taxes, this thing is gonna come after you, so I don't know. We're at the third theory. Omoi's friends are all dead. That was the first one. Only Basil is the dead one. That's the second one. But this third one, if you guys are paying attention, I kind of got here faster because this theory is the one I wanted to actually sink my teeth into, my two buck old teeth into. Because this one is the one I think is the actual true one and is the actual real ending. All right, look at the look at this picture of the entire crew. You know, you got the bow, you got the sloth, you got the green dude, you got the 
rough dude that w that's wearing a beanbag chair, and you got the egg-looking girl. Then you got then you got Joe. Do you notice anything off about them? No, not that they are literally white like flower and have purplish hair like a crayon. Look at that little thingy right there, triangle banana. They all have that banana on their foreheads. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Everyone is Omoi. That's right. I said it. Each character is not a character, but they are. They are a part of a Moi. Ombre is his happy side. Being bag dude is his stupid side and, and playful side. Sleepy dude. I really should know these guys' names. I played a whole game about them, but that's not the point. Sleepy dude is the mature side, and the other girl is the mature side and lovey-dovey side, you know what I'm saying? And all of them together, if you fuse them together like a like a Dragon Ball character, they make green do. What does purple make? Green. Now it's supposed to sound cooler. And you're probably asking yourself, so what? So if all of these people really do make up Omoi, what does that mean plot-wise? You know how we can always look into a mirror and we can look at ourselves with our friends and all that, but in the dark world, we can o it's only us and there's always a monster looking behind us? What if Omoi doesn't like the way he looks or something? And this game is him overcoming his past, basically, and for him to accept who he truly is. And what he truly is, is a green dude with hair. I don't know. <laughs> I don't I don't really have anyone to talk to about this stuff, so I'm just kind of spitballing. In conclusion, what is this story trying to tell us? Omoi is trying to accept who he is, and I don't know who he is. Maybe that's the whole purpose of the game. But his personalities split into four beings, and this game is going to be about his friends back into him. Pause, that, kind of, that sounds kind of weird, but it's about him trying to put his friends back into him, making him whole again, and he is going to turn into Basil, because Basil is, in fact, his true form. But I'm gonna leave you guys with a theory of yourself. Do you guys think I'm spot on about my three theories, especially my third one? Do you guys have any theories that you guys have that you would like to share too? Put it in the comments below and we can debate about it. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and I'll be back for more. Well, I'll be back with more Omoi on Christmas. Of course, I'll be playing other things too. So make sure you guys subscribe for all that stuff, you know. My name is Sun Cozen. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. And Sola. Sola? Bye bye. I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay, bye. Get out of here. Not really. I mean, yes, leave.